morning everyone um today we'll be talking about um, the process of blood clotting now uh this is a very simplified process and there's a lot more detail to it but i'm just um writing out the main points for you today so let's start with what happens first so here we have an injury to a blood vessel okay so which will lead to the loss of your blood like that So, we first start off with injury, and then we have blood loss. So, obviously the process of blood clotting is to prevent further blood loss. So, what happens is, to prevent that blood loss, your vessel will constrict to narrow the um, blood flow. All right? So, less blood can flow out. And at the same time, what happens is, your platelets found in your bloodstream will form a plug to plug up the wound to prevent uh, blood from escaping. All right. So here we have what we call vasoconstriction, which is the narrowing of the blood vessel. And also we have a platelet plug formation. So the last step here, because the platelet plug itself is not strong enough, so we still have the platelet plug. Now the final step here is what we call a fibrin mesh, right? So fibrin fibers will form like a net all over the platelets. So that would uh, strengthen it, and in the end, you will get a scab. So here we have fibrin mesh, and then finally, you will get a scab when it dries out. So let's talk about how fibrin is produced from your body. Now, when you are injured, your platelets and um, the tissue damage would cause um, this thing to be released, it's called thrombokinase, or you might heard of thromboplastin. So what this does is, it would convert prothrombin into thrombin. Prothrombin is a plasma protein that's found in your blood. And to produce prothrombin, you need vitamin K. And this process of converting prothrombin to thrombin, you need another thing, which is calcium ion. All right, so now you have thrombin. So what's going to happen here is that thrombin is going to convert fibrinogen into fibrin which would then form the mesh up here so fibrinogen is soluble and fibrin which is the product here is insoluble so uh, that's a uh, simple steps of the blood clotting 